Minister Kostichevich, thank you for returning to the United States Army War College and joining us today. On behalf of the staff and faculty and the United States Army War College Class of 2018, we offer you our most sincere congratulations for your designation as the 67th member of our International Hall of Fame. Minister Kostichevich, Colonel Adji, please join me on stage for our Hall of Fame induction. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated as Colonel Adji inducts Minister Kostichevich into the International Fellows Hall of Fame. United States Army War College, Carlisle Barracks, Pennsylvania, in recognition of outstanding military achievement, hereby inducts into the U.S. Army War College International Fellows Hall of Fame, Minister Damir Kostichevich, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Croatia, a 1998 graduate of the United States Army War College, by order of the Commandant, Major General John S. Kem, dated 22 May 2018. Colonel Adji will now present Minister Kostichevich with the Certificate of Honor. Good morning, all of you. <laughs> Distinguished leadership of the United States Army War College, Adjutant General of the Minnesota National Guard, Major General, and my friends, Jensen. My dear friends, United States Defense Attaché, Colonel Matters, students and employees of the Army War College, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to all of you, and let me begin by saying what a privilege it is for me to be here. I'm truly honored to stand in this place again 20 years after my graduation from the United States Army War College. To be standing here as I join the ranks of distinguished men and women inducted into the U.S. Army War College Internationally Fellows Hall of Fame is humbling. Entering Caroline Barracks this morning brought back memories of one of the best years of my military careers. The enthusiasm, the growth, the chance to learn and engage in discussion with some of the finest military minds, leaders, and colleagues from the United States and other countries. My year at the Army War College really showed me what a source of strength international cooperation has in the modern global society. There are many people and institutions I have to thank the instructors and the leadership of the Army War College headed by Major General Robert Scales, who were dedicated, open, and selfless in sharing their remarkable knowledge with their students. The International Fellows Office and my sponsor, William and Mary Spreitzer, and Thomas and Louis Onsievich, who were gallant hosts for my family and me, and made us feel at home in a foreign land, as well as the Croatian community in Harrisburg. Without them, life would have been much harder. Finally, the U.S. government, key ally, and most important strategic partner of Republic of Croatia in security and defense. 
Without this support in the development of our defense capabilities, especially in the field of professional military education, I never would have ended up here in the first place. The United States were founded on the hard-won ideals of liberty, democracy, rule of law, and equality. The same ideals we fought for in our homeland war. We have come a long way since then from hardship and struggle to being NATO allies and standing shoulder to shoulder around the world from Kosovo and the Baltic to Afghanistan. My military career started during the war in Croatia. At its beginning, we had nothing, no weapons, no military. We only had enthusiasm and belief in our ideals. We started from scratch, building up a military from special police units and volunteers who mostly had military training from the previous system, outdated and rigid. I began as a recon soldier. I had basic military education and I soon became recon platoon commander, then company commander and battalion commander in the 4th Guards Brigade. We were always outnumbered and outgunned at that time. Then in 1992, our chief of defense general staff told me I was getting a brigade command. I was 24. I protested that I didn't know even the brigade formation. He replied in a very military manner, go and learn. We learned as we fought. We built up the military, we trained, and we planned. We transformed the honor of leading of the four guard brigades in those days standing side by side with true heroes is something wars can hardly express. Our victory in the war was the crowning achievement of my military career. Against all odds and with so much, so much sacrifice, we won. In July last year, I visited the Pentagon and spoke with Secretary of Defense James Mattis. The word he said then still resonates today. With a great respect, he mentioned one of our final operations, saying it was an operation that is studied in the United States military to show that a well-led force, well-trained, well-equipped, and with good political guidelines, how it can change the course of history. He called Croatia a wonderful example, a small country that fights above its weight. Those words mean a lot, coming from universally respected, retired Marine Generals and current U.S. Secretary of Defense. They reflect what an impact our fight for freedom had internationally, and they show how even small countries like Croatia can contribute to military thought. I attended the U.S. Army War College two years after the war ended as the first Croatian Army officer ever admitted. It was an amazing and challenging year. I had a lot of practical experience leading a brigade in combat in high 
intercity joint operation. We were all high-ranking officers in our organization, but now new horizon open up. We learn through reading, writing, discussion. We cover topics from Tacidicis. I know that you know about that. <laughs> the relevance of land power to outlines of campaign planning. We were often tough on each other using critical strategic thinking and negotiating techniques to cut through our opinion, biases, and interest. But we learn from each other. I left with a great respect for the faculty and student. And I have benefited immensely in my later career from the skills and the knowledge I gained. On my return home, when I was appointed Deputy Chief of General Staff of the Croatian Army, I had the honor to test the principles I had learned. Working at the strategic level, dealing with uh, complex issues, providing the best military advice, and making tough decisions was all part of the daily routine. I continued my career in the private sector after I was retired from active service. But yet again, the principles of strategic leadership I had learned in my military life in education proved invaluable. Almost two years ago, I was given the opportunity to apply them again as Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense. I consider it a great privilege and honor to be once again leading the Croatian defense sector. This time as an elected civilian official, I am proud and grateful for this opportunity. Since then, we ended the years of declining defense budget, and we focused on creating and updating our basic national security documents. We formulate and passed in the new national security strategy and starting creating a flexible and modern interinstitutional homeland security system. We are rebuilding our system to face current and future challenges. The modern world faces complex security challenges. To be able to respond effectively, we need leaders capable of critical strategic thinking, quick reaction, and decisive action. There is no doubt in my mind that the United States Army War College develops such strategic leaders. Dear students of the class of 2018, your education here is at its end. I am sure it will prove to have been a turning point in your careers. Your focus now will hopefully be a strategic one, but never forget the real realities of life at the tactical level. You are future leaders, all of you. Apply what you have learned here and create an environment which your subordinates can try and excel. My own experience in leadership over three careers 
in the military, business, and in politics, has repeatedly shown this to be the key to success. I have found that even a driven and focused leader is only as good as the team behind him. Building a winning team is a de de deliberate process in which no effort is to be spared. It is perhaps useful to think of success as a mosaic. And it is critical to give everyone on your team the chance to contribute to it to the best of their ability. Never accept anything less than success. Stay determined in achieving your goals and see things through the very end. You may get knocked down, but as long as you keep getting up one more time, you will stay on the path to victory. Stay adaptive. Learn from your mistakes. And keep in mind that every success is merely a stepping stone to new challenge. The future will test us all. You will be required to constantly use and expand your skills and knowledge. You will work in coalition and alliance, often with foreign cultures, and you have, will have to make them work. Remember that success of every military endeavor and the ends depends on people. Despite our leaps in technology, the human factors is as decisive now as it has ever been. Distinguished members of the faculty and staff, students, guests, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to express my sincere gratitude for the privilege of being here today at my induction into the U.S. Army War College International Hall of Fame. I will forever consider myself privileged to have been part of the distinguished institution. And this honor will remain a source of great pride for me as long as I live. Thank you, Prudence Futuri. <laughs> now, feel free to ask questions. Uh, sir, uh, Colonel Dell Rupp, uh, U.S. Army, um, Seminar 17. What was the most significant? Not 16. Not 16, no, sir. <laughs> so what was the most significant challenge uh, going from the military career to the business career for you? Uh, uh, thanks. You, you ask me great questions. Uh, probably I will speak in Croatian, and my uh, advisor, she will translate, if you agree with me. Uh, vojna karijera i 
biznis karijera za mene su vrlo slične. A? Ok. Ok, dobro. Znači, vojna karijera i biznis karijera su za mene vrlo slične i vjerujte mi, nakon vojne karijere, kad sam otišao u drugu karijeru, sve sam iste principe koristio. So, uh, from my point of view, the military career is very similar to the business career. And believe me that after I switched from the military to the uh, business car career, I used all the same principles. Ključna stvar, da imaš viziju. Ki ključna stvar, u vojsci, imaš bojište i ljudi stradavaju. S druge strane, u biznisu, imaš tržište i je, ljudi ne stradavaju. So the only difference is uh, that uh, actually the key thing is that you always have a vision. The only difference is that in the military you have a theater where people die and in the business you have the market without people dying. U, u vojsci imaš protivnika kojeg moraš pobijediti. A u biznisu imaš konkurenta kojeg istog moraš pobijediti. In the military you have an adversary which you have uh, to win. In the, the business uh, you have competition which you also have to win. <laughs> znači, ključni point moraš imati kvalitetne ljude oko sebe. Moraš ih znati motivirati, moraš ih znati uh, razvijati i moraš stvoriti ugodno okruženje za rad. So the key point is that you have to be surrounded with uh, good people, uh, with quality people. You have to motivate them, you have to encourage them to uh, develop. And, uh, moraš ih znati razvijati. Yeah, you must help them develop. I ono što, što je ključno, moraš znati raditi i u, i u jednoj karijeri i u drugoj karijeri uh, dobre planove i dobre analize. And in both careers, it's also very important to be able uh, to produce uh, good plans and have good analysis. I ključna stvar, i kod jednog i kod drugog, moraš voditi svojim primjerom. Ništa ne tražiti od ljudi čega se sam ne pridržaješ. And what I would also like to stress as a key point is you always have to set the example. You should not ask something from uh, your team which you are not ready to provide yourself. Evo primjer, Hrvatska je donijela odluku za F16. Za kupnju od države Izrael. I znači država je donijela odluku za kupnji F16 od države Izrael i to je za nas uh, 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 velika stvar. I evo sutra ja idem uh, uh, kod mog prijatelja za pojednika i sutra ću letiti na F16. So a good example is uh, just the recent decision made by the Croatian government to uh, purchase some uh, F16s from the state of Israel. It is a big deal for uh, my country. Tomorrow I will visit the National Guard of Minnesota and I hope that I will be able to fly on one of those. Ja znam da nije to moja zadaća, ali želim dati primjer jer naši piloti moraju sada napraviti ogromnu transformaciju sa zrakoplova druge generacije na zrakoplov četvrte generacije. Znači to je leadership bar sa primjerom. I know it's not my task, you know, but I want to set an example because our pilots at home have now a difficult task to switch from a second generation aircraft to fourth generation. So that's what a good manager does, sets an example. Ja moram raditi tu razliku radi Hrvatske. I da dostignemo taj cilj. So I have to set a good example because of my country, because of Croatia, because we want to achieve that task.
Any other questions? Please, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Marcus Meyer from Germany, uh, Seminar 21. Uh, Your Excellency, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, one question would be, in your position right now, um, how do you balance being a partner to the US with global interests and, and your situation as a regional power uh, in, in, uh, in the region where you, where you exist? So how do you balance uh, being a good partner with your regional uh, interests? Thank you very much, sir. Uh, uh, thanks a lot of uh, uh, my colleague from the German for asking uh, me questions. Uh, ja mislim da to jedno ne isključuje drugo. So I think that one doesn't exclude the other. Mislim da je strateški za Hrvatsku važno biti uh, partner Sjedinjameških država i drugih evropskih država također. I mislim da Sjedinjameške države pomažu uh, upravo sigurnosti i stabilnosti na prostoru jugoistoka Evrope. So I see it of uh, strategic importance uh, to be the partner with the United States, but also with other European countries. Uh, I don't see that one excludes the other. And uh, the United States uh, is really uh, providing great help for the stabilization and security in the area of Southeast Europe. Evo vidite, sada mi smo u dvije, uh, jedni od rijetki koji smo u dvije uh, borbene skupine. You see, that, you see that Croatia is one of the very few countries which uh, at the same time participates in two enhanced covert presence uh, battle groups of NATO. Znači, u Poljskoj pod vodstvom Sjedinjameških država i u Litvi pod vodstvom Njemačke. So we participate in uh, the US-led EFP battle group in Poland and also in the German-led battle group in Lithuania. Znači, jedno ne isključuje drugo. Treba nam partnerstvo za sigurnost da bi prostor jugoistoka Evrope bio još sigurniji i treba nam suradnja i država u prostoru i Balkana i jugoistoka Evrope. I Hrvatska želi biti partner u tom partnerstvu. So this is part uh, for the uh, security, uh, for um, partnership uh, in Southeast Europe uh, to make South the region more secure. And uh, Croatia really uh, supports the cooperation and is looking uh, to cooperate with all the countries in uh, the Western Balkans, that is in the region of Southeast Europe. Any other questions for this? Thanks a lot of, I really wish the best, the best for you and for your family in your uh, future. Thanks a lot.